Hello everyone, my name is Wei from the Mobi Media team and in this video we're going to explore ChatGPT's latest updates. We see that it is ever evolving and the powerful AI chatbot is breaking the barriers between the limitations that we have once seen from its original release. So it's just becoming more and more powerful and in this video we'll be covering a few of their latest features. The main one being that browsing is now accessible and is out of beta. What this means is that ChatGPT does have access to the internet. So prior to this, ChatGPT only had information up until September 2021, as we see here. Therefore, we were unable to get the most up-to-date news and anything beyond September 2021 was inaccessible to the AI chatbot, which did cause some limitations. Let's take a look at how we can use this to our advantage and why this chatbot is now more powerful than ever. We'll also be taking a look at a few other updates made by OpenAI, but this is definitely the main most highlighted one in my opinion opinion so let's jump into ChatGPT and let's take a look at how exactly this browsing feature works so I asked it what the main similarities and differences between the reviews for Baldur's Gate 3 are on Kotaku and IGN so different game reviews websites I did find this query online just to replicate it and we see that it did browse the internet and it gave us some information and the reason why this query is significant is because this information is very up-to-date as Baldur's Gate 3 is a a new game therefore it wouldn't be able to access this information as it is very recent so it does have access to both the reviews from the different websites made on Baldur's Gate 3 which means that it was able to successfully browse the internet parse the data and return a pretty successful query in my opinion let's now scroll down and I asked it what some recent cryptocurrency news was and we see that it did list five recent cryptocurrency news if we take a look at for example point number three and we google that we see that this is indeed recent news with articles being released just hours ago about this news and ChatGPT was able to access this and give us information based on this news meaning that it really did browse the web it got information from the web and this is things that we've never seen before from ChatGPT. it was always giving the limitation that it only has data up until september 2021 which was very limited in terms of its power and its flexibility but now we have more flexibility than we've ever seen another one of his points is that xrp did jump nearly eight percent in the last week if i jump over to coin market cap i can verify this information xrp has jumped 7.21 percent in the last week which is accurate based on what ChatGPT was able to retrieve so let's now test out some new prompts and see what we can get i'll give it a prompt here saying can you give me the iphone 15 pro versus iphone 15 major specs differences of course this phone was just very recently released and for it to have access to information on this phone then it would need to browse the internet this is what it looks like so browsing and it's using bing to do the browsing so microsoft is backing open ai which is the creator of ChatGPT. so they are using their bing platform there to take a look at uh, all the latest information online and we see which websites is actually browsing what exactly it's clicking and it really just gives you a breakdown of what's going on which i find very interesting so we see that it's reading some information it's going back we could just follow along with what exactly it's doing so let's just say here see how long this takes and we could see its thought process as well so it, it did see a comparison now seeing the iphone 15 specs my guess is it's going to be seeing the iphone 15 pro specs after reading up on the iphone 15 specs but we'll just say here and we'll watch what exactly it's doing as i find the thought process very interesting i think you guys will also find this very interesting as this is what's going to be used to return your query so we see that it is now responding and it's giving us the iphone 15 and 15 pro model differences and we saw which articles it did get this information from one of them was actually apple.com where it was browsing so of course that would be the most ideal website to be getting its information from and then we see that it's also referencing the citation so it's not working on my end not sure why but this should be working where it actually does reference where it got the information from which is very interesting bing chat ai has been able to do this so it's now integrated into ChatGPT, and we see that in conclusion the 15 pro comes with more advanced features the higher refresh rate display the camera and video recording departments are more powerful the chipset is more powerful overall 
I can say that this is pretty accurate from the quick look that I uh, I have here and we can always fact check this if it did give us the references we could fact check based on the references as well and we see that it's just much more powerful than ever and this could be used in many different circumstances many different queries and the fact that it has access to the internet now is giving it even more limitless possibilities than it already had before another one of ChatGPT's new updates is doll e3 so doll e3 is their image generator and it's now integrated into chat gpt so what i did is i asked it to give me a drawing of a youtuber showcasing news and we see that it's using doll e3 to create these images we'll see what exactly it outputs and what it did is it kind of assumed the rest of the information and it gave us two different types of images a female youtuber at their desk engaging with their audience and then a male youtuber in a studio setting discussing a news article so we see that we have these images and that again is a very powerful tool so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys could use this let me know in the comments below what you're going to be using this for and if you find this very helpful let us know if you like this ai news i find it very interesting i'm sure many others do as well thank you very much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe so you never miss out on the latest content that we are always posting my name is wave and i'll catch you on the next one